Hi, betting experts. On Thursday, January the 18th, we're off down to deeper Somerset on Thursday to win Canton, where we're hoping to be if it beats the big freeze. They've got the frost sheets down there, but it was frozen earlier in the week. Hopefully, it gets the go-ahead. It is usually a bit of a microclimate down there. The ground, well, it's good to soft. It's probably going to be good by the time they get the sheets off, and it'll probably be all about speed around there if they can beat the freezing weather that's dogged racing this week. We start off with our betting expert daily nap, sponsored by Bet365. This goes in the 235. It's the use the race tv.com tracker handicap chase two mile class four five year olds and upwards five thousand eight hundred and nine pounds the winner and i think this is a good opportunity for the consistent non-stop to get off the mark over fences at the fourth attempt they come from the joe tizard yard they've had a really good season and they've continued in good form um, had three winners in the last 14 days all of their horses are running well and non-stop has run with credit on three occasions this winter i thought he ran really well at a big price behind arc light on the 22nd of October. That was after 225 days off. He needed the run. That race has worked out well. He took a step forward on this sort of ground over two mile two at Taunton and beaten by one of Venetia's heroes running really well. Last time out here he was very well back but he ended up getting beaten quite a long way on bad ground that became very testing. He got beaten 20 lengths by Liberty Hunter but there's no disgrace in that. The winner is a very progressive young chaser of Evan Williams who's come out and won at a higher level easily at Cheltenham. So as it turned out non-stop had no chance that day um, I think he'll go really well here on better ground and I'm expecting a positive front running ride from Brendan Powell hopefully he can make all the running this doesn't look a wonderful race by any means our betting expert value angle selection sponsored by bet365 goes in the 125 it's a Weatherby's handicap hurdle three miles and 150 yards a class three for four year olds and upwards good prize money eight and a half thousand pounds and I think David Pipe and Jack Tudor can team up to good effect here with the six-year-old American sniper now he's a pretty reliable handicapper he's developed into he's run 13 times over hurdles in total three wins three places he's returned better than ever after six months off this season a couple of modest runs which helped his handicap mark slip down seven pounds and he then won a valuable prize at Cheltenham on the 17th of November a 20 runner handicap he edged out the prolific white rhino there I think he was probably helped by the first time tongue tie and pieces and everything fell right under a really good ride from Fergus Gillard um, last time out of Taunton he was sent off favourite he ran perfectly respectably but he's just short of pace he needs further than 2 mile 3 these days he's up to 3 miles here which he's run well over and promised more at in the past and I think on decent ground he'll have no issue with the trip he was a former pointer back in the day in Ireland so I think I think a stamina test to be what he needs. He's liable to get a very patient ride from Jack Tudor, who's a brilliant young jockey, reminds me of John Frankham. And American Sniper, I think, is race fit with conditions to suit, and this is a weak looking class three for the money. Plenty of these have got lots to prove or look badly out of form. Best of luck on Thursday, betting experts, and please remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos.